Me and my friends have been doing small performance improvements to our cars and now we really want to be able to see those improvements and see what's making them better and what's making them worse. Now we've been using the GPS Speedo or 0 to 100s on our phones but they're just not accurate enough. We find there's huge variations in every run we do because they have quite a slow update time and the phone antenna is not the best. We looked at buying a 0 to 100 performance meter but we found they're quite expensive they're like $200 plus so I decided to make one just using an Arduino and a few other bits and pieces for around $20 to $30 so it's super cheap it's an easy project you can do yourself and it means that you can get out there you can do small improvements to your car and you will be able to see that what makes this one so much better than the phone as well is the refresh rate of the GPS so how many times it requests a packet from the satellites well, your phone's doing that once a second this one's doing it 10 or you can even go up to 16 times a second to get that super accurate result as well as it's not doing anything in the background it's just there to do the 0 to 100 so here is the solution to my problem. It's an Arduino controlled GPS speedo that does 0 to 100. And I've just 3D printed this little case for it here, as you can see. Here's a little test of it just walking around the shop. As you can see, it's super accurate. Uh, the display does take a little bit to refresh, but inside it's getting like a really accurate GPS signal. Um, it updates 10 times a second, which is really good, opposed to like a phone that's only once a second. It's just bolted down, this is the antenna on the back, and here is a USB-C charger. The magnetic plate is really good, you can just stick it onto any magnetic mounting on a car. And as you can see it holds on really well, it's super convenient to use. Um, for looking at internals, we'll just look at a previous version because it's a bit easier to see inside, but it's all wired up the same. Here's actually the version before that. This button here is to reset the time. Got on and off switch on the side. Now let's have a look. Here's the Arduino controlling it. We've got a boost converter that runs off the battery, takes the 3.7 volts up to 5 volts. We got a TP4056 module for charging and protection of the battery. Uh, the Arduino just sits on the board with these headers so you can take it out when you need to which is really convenient for coding it or if there's an issue. There's the 7M or the Neo 7M GPS module they work really well, they're not too expensive either. And finally the little OLED display at the front. So pretty simple, just little modules put together to make this. Here's the schematic of how it's all wired together. Um, yeah, again, super simple. And here's our code. Basically all the GPS code I kind of stole from another YouTuber, this iForce 2D. It's really good. It's just using binary protocol between the Arduino and the GPS so it updates super quick there's no bulk to it it only takes what it needs and it just helps that program run a lot quicker and get really accurate results so if you want to know more about the GPS itself go to his channel and check it out he has two really good videos on it and then there's just my setup here which is it's super simple it's just a couple if statements checking how fast it's going to start and stop the timer. It's, again, super simple. I will have my code linked down in the bottom so you can use it as well. I think this is probably going to be the final version. I do really like the form factor of it. It's nice and tight. This button I got at the front feels really good too to use. I just used these push-in inserts into the 3D print which work really well for the top screws. As you can see it's pretty compact in here. 
battery just sits up top. I do want to get a piece of foam to sit above the battery to help hold it in, but yeah, it's the same as the, the generation beforehand, it's just made a lot more compact. Here's an example of it working in the car. Unfortunately, to record this screen, it needs to be in a dark box, otherwise you get heaps of flicker, so sorry about the shitty footage. When it does get over 100, it may look like there is a lag where the screen is updating, but in reality, it is getting that time precisely when it passes 100 kilometers an hour, so it is very accurate. It just doesn't look like it on the screen, that's all. And finally, we have just a cost and parts breakdown here. Um, it didn't end up costing that much, it's relatively cheap. The most extensive bit is the Neo 7M, it's $8.75, and then all the other little bits and pieces like the Arduino Nano. Make sure you do get the 7M, not the 6M, I found the 6M didn't work that well. And yeah, for the 18650s I get these second hand for like around $2, you can use older ones. It uses fuck all power, so you can use a 18650 that doesn't have all its life, only like 100, well, 1.5 amp hours left, and it'll work fine. So yeah, but yeah, it only costs 26 bucks in the end, so nice and cheap.